All right, guys, so here we are taking a look at the BIOS on our Lenovo IdeaPad 5. A lot of you have been asking for this. This is going to be 512 versus 1024 megabytes of VRAM on our Ryzen 4500U Vega 6 8 gigabyte RAM system that we've been testing here on the channel. Uh, I was going to put out Witcher 3 today, uh, game benchmark, but a lot of you have been wanting to see these BIOS settings, so I wanted to get this done for you. Um, and let you take a look and just show a little bit of reference as to what it does to the system. Um, now, just as, as a note, if you've got an 8 gig system, you want to stick with default or max 1 gig on a VRAM. If you've got a 16 gigabyte system, feel free to jump all the way up to the 2 gig. And I think your system performance is going to be just fine. But with the 8 gigs, uh, even going up to 1 gigabyte from the 512, and I will show you a video, uh, it, it hurts the system performance. I'll just use Cinebench to show that. Uh, if you go up even higher to 2 gig, you're tanking the performance so much that you'll, you'll gain nothing from the video part. Uh, you'll actually gain more. So it's better to stay 512 or 1 gig on an 8 gigabyte RAM model. 16, like I said, go for 2. 4 I think would be too much, uh, but you definitely do fine with the 2 uh, or 1 if you really want wanted to do that so but easy to change in here you can see all the standard options in the bios i just scrolled through those for you and uh more importantly what you want to see is we'll go back to configuration and we will change up our vram and we'll go take a look at a few things after we do that so as you go down here you've got your time date wireless lan your svm technology bios backflash hotkey mode flip to boot uh, foolproof function control always on usb charge and battery mode system performance extreme performance because i always test everything for you guys in that and then our frame buffer size so this is where you can change from the default 512 to a 1 gig uh, 2 gig and 4 gig um, you might even get away with 4 on the 16. I don't have one to try it. I plan on maybe getting one. But for this system, 512 or 1 is, is the most uh, that you really want to mess with here. And even at that, there's not much difference in gaming. I, I didn't have time to test a lot of games. I'll just show you a little bit of Grand Theft Auto. Um, but I have messed around with it a little bit. And it's almost not even really worth going in and changing unless there's a game that, that just won't run without you having a gig. It just won't boot or it won't start. Uh, then it might be more worth it for you to do. So over here, we've got the Radeon settings. So you get Radeon Lite on the laptop. It's very similar to what you get on desktop if you've got an AMD GPU. And we'll go over here and I will show you. Uh, it recognizes right now we're at the 512. We're going to uh, run Cinebench at 512. And then we're going to go show you that it's recognizing 1024. And we'll run Cinebench there. I'm going to speed through these really quickly for you and not really waste any of your time. Let's get our score for our, five, for our default 512 megabyte VRAM size, which is normally. Uh, 2500 to 2575 so 2513 right now it's all depending on what the system's up to uh, but always over 2500 is my score in here on extreme performance so definitely uh, consistent there so let's go over here we're going to pull up those radeon settings again i'm going to show you now that i've gone back into the bios and switched it to one gigabyte here's the recognizing 1024 right there no problems And we'll jump over into Cinebench and we'll do a run here. Um, so 2409 is what we, or 2513 is what we had. And 2409 is going to be what we wind up with here at about 104 point difference. Now, if you go to 2 gig on this, I can tell you it tanks down to about 2200. Um, and you just start getting too many issues in game, too many performance issues. It's just not enough RAM and you really choke the CPU. So that's why I say 512 or 1 gig. So there's 2409. Um, there's our difference just with that little bit of change, um, but the system still functions fine that way on an 8 gig model. So here you can see it, but the top we're at our 512 in our settings. It's asking for 1018. I'm just showing you these so that you can see that the game also recognizes the VRAM change and that we're running the exact same settings as we ran in our benchmark and also that we're running with both VRAM settings here. All right, so we'll go over here and take a look at the 1024, same exact settings, which you'll see at the top. It's asking for 1018, uh, like it should be, like before, but we've got 1024 available. Same exact settings, just a change in the VRAM in the BIOS. And there you go, everything's the same. 
and we'll get ready to jump over and we're going to take a little look at a split screen and just give you a uh, an idea of what's going on here anyway i mean it's just one piece of one game that can change this can change depending on what game you're playing and where you're playing um so i mean take this with a grain of salt but this is just an example sorry these aren't lined up perfectly um it took a lot of work to get this video put together today and out to you guys so um It'll still give you a good enough of an idea of what's going on here. So we'll take a walk down the street as well. And there again, they're not lined up perfectly, but if, if you watch them, they hit very similar FPS to, depending on where he's walking by there. And uh, not a huge uh, difference, not a real big difference. Even if you look at the frame time numbers, um, where he's at, the usage of everything, temperatures... Um, are very similar, slightly lower on the 512, but um, yeah, it's not a lot of difference. CPU's doing the same clock. RAM's very similar. Um, just not not a whole lot, whole lot of difference here. But if you go up to two gigs, there's a big difference. You do start tanking actually. This is kind of where the sweet spot is for the eight gig model. We'll sit at this corner for a little bit. You can just kind of see them settle out. Alright guys, I know that's not a perfect test. All games are going to run different. Even different areas of this game are going to run different. But I hope this kind of answers some of your questions. So thanks a lot for checking out the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. And feel free to leave me your comment below. Thanks a lot, and I'll catch you in the next one.